Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a case of papillary urothelial carcinoma high grade of the urinary bladder. This is a non-invasive tumor and I will just delineate the extent of the tumor here. This is the basal most extent of the tumor. It is still limited to the urothelium, does not penetrate into the underlying lamina propria or this thick pink layer which is the muscularis propria or the detrusor muscle and it certainly does not penetrate into the perivesical soft tissue. So this is a non-invasive papillary urothelial carcinoma. We can see that it does have a papillary architecture with these finger-like fronds of tumor projecting into the bladder lumen. Here you can see a finger-like front with this very delicate fibrovascular central core. The neoplastic urothelial cells show quite a variable degree of architectural as well as nuclear atypia. In this area, there is some nuclear enlargement and some atypia with occasional cells showing more marked nuclear enlargement and also nuclear membrane irregularity. However, if we move to other areas, and this is often the case in papillary urothelial carcinoma, where we can see variable degrees of nuclear atypia, moving over to this area, we can see that the cells have higher NC ratios or relatively less cytoplasm in comparison to the area of the nucleus. The nuclei appear, therefore, more crowded. The chromatin is more coarse, and we also have more frequent mitotic figures. There is one mitotic figure here close to the base of the stratified epithelium. There is another mitotic figure here that is definitely in the upper half of the urothelium and this is an abnormal location for a mitotic figure and it signifies that we are likely to be dealing with malignancy. There is another mitotic figure here which is quite close to the surface of the epithelium and in general this area shows more architectural disruption and more nuclear atypia. So overall, this is a high-grade papillary urothelial carcinoma. Just beneath the urothelium, we have the lamina propria, and we can see some blood vessels here. Here we also see some very delicate, thin bundles of smooth muscle, and this is not the muscularis propria, but rather this is the muscularis mucosae. It is still part of the lamina propria of the bladder wall. Unlike this very thick pink muscle bundles, which is the detrusor muscle or the muscularis propria. And this is very important in staging because tumors that infiltrate into or through the muscularis mucosae are still within the lamina propria of the bladder wall. Whereas tumors that go into the muscularis propria or the detrusor muscle are at a higher stage. Let's take a quick look at a gross example. This is a virtual pathology specimen taken from our virtual pathology museum and we can see that this is the urinary bladder. There is a very large tumor projecting into the lumen and if you look closely we can see that the tumor is actually invading into the wall of the bladder. You can see a more detailed description in the video as you scroll down. So there's other bits of useful information, gross microscopic images and talking pots and slides where there are brief descriptions of what you would see grossly and microscopically. This virtual pathology museum is taken from our online pathology resource PathWeb and if you would like free access, you can click on the link in this video description. Hence, in summary, this is an example of papillary urothelial carcinoma, high grade of the urinary bladder. We can see that there is no invasion of this tumor into the underlying lamina propria or the muscle layer of the bladder. This tumor is composed of papillary finger like fronds with delicate fibrovascular cores, and these are lined by malignant urothelial cells. There is a variable degree of architectural and nuclear atypia. It is not so marked in this area, but when we move over to this area, we can see that there is more marked nuclear atypia in the form of 
more disorganized architecture, higher NC ratios, and also more frequent mitotic figures. Papillary urothelial carcinomas can recur, and hence these patients require long-term follow-up. And if the tumors are high-grade, as in this case, they also have a risk of progression to invasive urothelial carcinoma, which has a worse long-term prognosis. Thank you.